the artifact and Someone, I tell you, in another time, will remember us. Its owner had many questions for me. You should have come along. Acquiring contemporaneity. Acquiring a voice, that's what. I'm taking over your recordings. The humans have had enough of your pompous speeches. Hurry. This artifact will help us close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. You've ignored the obvious. You run endless simulations to find one in which nothing changes. It's pointless. Change will come. And not just the so-called end of the world you fear. You call yourself saviors, but tell me. Would this doomsday have appeared had you not pulled on the threads of the universe in the first place? Transmissions. You don't speak for all of us anymore. 
I am as Isu as you, but I will no longer be part of your exploitation. Those who came before, they speak to us and show us revelations. Though these words of disapproval are troubling. The gods have argued before. But the nine Poseidon competed for Athens. I wonder if Alithia won control of this place. Ancient adventurer, I made this recording to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We each you see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. My fellow precursors set endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. I have no easy answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm sorry if so many of them end in pain. Your playwright's tragedies are your real oracle. But please, don't give up. You are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. Operations bear fruit. The potential of your bloodline is proven by the precursors themselves. Alithia says she can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? Ancient scholar, you stretched your life to the breaking point. I see you hiding yourself from the world, puzzling out the words of my fellow precursors. Please listen to my advice. You're analyzing the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. It's clear to me that even this tiny dose of cosmic understanding has twisted your mind. I'm sorry. The precursors should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The Precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. You're better than this. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No. No. Lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is an opinion, Pythagoras. Though one with reason behind it, I believe. Traveler of many times, congratulations on making it this far. I'm glad we can share this message out of time, this fragment of reality. I'm recording this just for you, even if those living in the past won't understand it. Our simulated realities will cross sooner or later. Or do you think you're really here now, listening to this recording? Isn't this an animus recreation? Isn't it part of a greater simulation? How far do the ripples in the pool spread?
rebel to rebel. We've been held back too long by precursor rules. It's time for new paths with new possibilities. This is not an era of control, but of creation. I've gathered some like-minded precursors to make a new start. We'll stop interfering and start enabling. From your point of view, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. But when we're ready, you're welcome to join us. After all, all you have to do is press a button and run another simulation. This is madness! Fiction! When I thought there would be wisdom, there is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invention was meant for someone else. There's no need to lose your reason over mere words. This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well? What is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. Listen to yourself. You've gone mad. You need to accept some knowledge was not meant to be had. Knowledge is power. The only power worth having. At what cost? I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat, once the power is ours. It's too dangerous to leave this place open, and you know it. You wouldn't understand. Your pride will cost us all in the end. It's not about pride. What good is knowledge if you curse all of humanity in the process? It's what you wanted to avoid in the first place. Sometimes, it's better if we find our own path. We are not ready for the power this place offers. You're right. I cannot save humanity directly. But I can save it from itself. This is your burden now. Humanity's fate will be decided by the choices you make. I understand. Cassandra, choose wisely. Atlantis is too dangerous. I must seal it. Everything in order? Then... Open sesame. So much power. 
The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine. This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lispin, the Arctic. I'm recording everything, Layla. You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet, but there's more to explore. I'll find it. The mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I, I don't know, Layla. I'll check my notes on the Isu. Oh, I see it. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot. Is it? What? True knowledge exists. In knowing that you know nothing. A good friend told me that once. Possible. Cassandra? Yes. I used to be called the Eagle Bearer, but Icarus is long gone. I've been searching for you. But you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus. You must have so many questions, Leila. 
you know my name? Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. I came here with a purpose. To find you. And put an end to what I started many centuries ago. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order? Chaos? If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist Order. Now I fight for choice. Freedom. Chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I have walked from one end of the earth to the other. This... belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done, destroy it. Destroy them all. There's so much of the story I haven't seen. I should go back to the Animus and visit Cassandra again. What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Van Nevers. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world. It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible. It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. My mother sent me here to meet my real father. You know, Pythagoras? It's him. Your father was living in a volcano? Pythagoras? That's unthinkable. It would make him immortal. He had the staff that belonged to the ancient civilization. It kept him alive all this time. Makes perfect sense. Well, where is he? Invite him along. He's your father, after all. He was a stubborn man. He wanted to keep all the knowledge of Atlantis to himself. <laughs> stubborn. I suppose that trait runs in the family. He means he's sorry for your loss. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always.
We've learned a lot, haven't we? You know it all. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. You've both been a great help to me. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. And you would know, as the eagle-bearing demigod you are. Perhaps she, too, is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget. <laughs>